on today's episode of the news. Yakface.com has put up on his blog a massive amount of rumours, 30 in fact. We'll talk about some of that. Hot Wheels are getting some new ships in their diecast lineup. A new Mandalorian shirt, which I may be wearing. As well as, we're going to unbox this. Excellent stuff. All this and more coming up. Welcome back again to Usual Mike Television Toy Showcase Channel, and I hope you guys are doing well. We have hit 4,000, well that's 8, 4,000 subscribers! <laughs> yes, had to put the comedy siren back in there. Awesome stuff. First up, in the news, Yakface put out a tweet and says, If you're bummed about SDCC, Later today I got something coming, and I'm like waiting, waiting, waiting. It wasn't until real late in the day, you guys in the US would be really damn late in the evening for you guys. His 30 rumor reports from the beginning of the year till now, and how they've panned out, and what's to be expected, what's, what, what are we hoping for? So as we come away from San Diego, a lot of us were like, is that it? Is that all we're getting? Because as you know, Hasbro, we were like, can't say too much, there's a movie coming out. So... This article, which I invite you to go over to yakface.com and read, has all the rumoured listed. So I could go through some of them, but we've been through them before, piece by piece, talked about it here on the channel. It is fully in-depth. He gives updates on some of them that have updates done on them, secret code names and things, who's coming, what's happening. Covers everything. Black Series, Galaxy of Adventures, Vintage Collection, all alike, everything, you know. Oh, I even... Didn't mention too much about any retros. Wave 2, I'd like to know more about them. And Archive, Archive Collection, there they are back there. We're getting a Wave 3, but we don't know anything about it. Why wouldn't they tell us? I mean, like, the Archive Collection is figures that we've had it before that's re-sculpted better than they were in the past and going to be put onto an Archive card that... You're not going to spoil a film. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, check it out. Awesome, awesome stuff. Lots of information there. Stuff to make you feel like, oh, thank God there is actually something coming. It, it kind of makes the collector feel like you can get hyped about something. It's hard to get hyped about nothing at all. They tell us about a Triple Force Friday and all they give us is that logo, Triple Force Friday. <laughs> anyway, moving on. What's the next thing? Oh, yeah, the Hot Wheels. Now, Hot Wheels, as we know at San Diego Comic-Con, had that beautiful little droid. There it is. And I think it, back then it sold for 10 bucks, but then it went online for huge amounts of money, five, six times that amount, you know, crazy, crazy numbers. There's another one that is rumored to be coming from The Mandalorian. It is the AT-ST Raider. It is uh, codenamed Huckleberry Walker, and Huckleberry represents everything Mandalorian. Originally, it's from the Expanded Universe, uh, Legend Era Vehicle. Now, the showrunner, the guy who is in charge of The Mandalorian, John Favreau, He's the voice of Rio Durant from Solo. He's also a big fan of Legends. And this is from Legends, sort of the era, the, the old EU stuff. And he's brought it into his show. So, cool. If we're going to see lots of this vehicle, now they're making it into a Hot Wheels. And this will be a, like a Triple Force Friday Hot Wheels as well. It'll be coming out. Oh, look, there's new stuff for Mandalorian. Mandalorian, we're going to get to that. Because we also know that rumour of the Razor Crest, which is the Mandalorian ship. I've shown a picture of that before. That will be a die-cast vehicle in Hot Wheels line. All 164 scale, as you know. If you don't know what 164 scale is, I do have a Hot Wheels back here. Ooh. <laughs> it's a Barbie. So, yeah, that size is 164 scale for you that don't know. They're like two bucks. Very good. Barbie. Hmm. Mattel. Anyway, one of my subscribers, Patrick Colwell, good fella. We chat every now and again on social media. He has got himself the San Diego Comic-Con droid in hand. Put those pictures up. Very nice. Well done, Patrick. Was not an easy find. It's, it's kind of like when we're trying to look for those hard-to-find SDCC figures to get something from the convention like that. Well done. Awesome stuff. Patrick has also helped me out on the Star Wars their concept series, I remember. <laughs> They're the ones that were done in like uh, old school, what they were going to look like originally. The concept series, very nice ships, very beautiful. Awesome. All right, next up, a little tiny bit of Funko news. 
there has been an image from a GameStop system. One of the GameStop computers has this listed up there. It has Jedi Fallen Order Trooper on it. It is got the date on it for Triple Force Friday. So, ooh, we're going to get a pop. Wonderful stuff. We knew that we were going to get something, but yeah. Jedi Fallen Order Trooper. Wonderful. Excellent. Okay, next up, Entertainment Earth. They are now selling. Bling! Yeah! So you won't have to get onto Target sites in the US. Go to Entertainment Earth. This is going to be worldwide. Anyone in the world will be able to get themselves the Retro Collection. Excellent. They are set for a case of six at $63.99 US. Ooh, a little bit pricey. Um, they're coming in August. Now, if you guys know that site was going to get smashed, everyone's going to want these. If you don't want to miss out, my affiliate, Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles, is getting them as well. So go to Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles, see when he lists the retro collection. They'll be available. Get them from him if you have any trouble. He ships worldwide. One little toy company called The Little Toy Company, who I don't mention a lot on this because they are still holding onto a couple of pre-orders from mine that are like, oh my god, it's been years. Um, I contacted them recently, don't worry, they know. <laughs> they are getting three of the STC exclusives for all of us Aussies here in Australia. There was no prototype Vader. They are getting the Sith Trooper, coming soon. Luke Disney 3-pack, coming soon. And the Boba Fett, oh my god, I want this so badly. Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary. Oh, can of colours, beautiful, beautiful figure. Available soon, coming soon. No other details other than that. It just says coming soon. Um, if you if you if you want to tempt waiting forever, you can get them from them guys. But I just just letting you know it's news. Moving on, shirts. Now, as you saw in the last episode, I went into a zing, took some photos. Oh, like they got the Mandalorian shirt. Oh, they got the Rise of Skywalker shirt. And I took photos of them and put them in the video. And thank you, Kylo Collector, for sharing them to everyone around the world on your Instagram. Thank you so much. He always, always credits me. Guess what they got now? Jedi Fallen Order shirts. Oh my god! Now, Jedi Fallen Order is the video game, obviously. And there is a picture of the shirt and the tag. Hmm, that must be representative of what the logo will look like for Jedi Fallen Order. So, let's say they bring out, I don't know, three and three quarter inch figures is that going to be the image on it if they bring out lego is that going to be the image on it it's interesting and speaking of the mandalorian shirts this was the little logo that i showed there it is and on the back zing so apparently the first in the world to sell them i did see people at celebration had rise of skywalker shirts but Mandalorian shirts. Oh, oh baby, I don't do this too often. Let's get this gear off. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, it's gold. Look at that. Vicious. Now, I'll turn around the back. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Mandalorian shirt. Wonderful. It's like a glove. <laughs> Very only one Kenobi there, isn't it? Okay, what's next? Oh yeah, you guys in the UK. Speaking of only one Kenobi, he lives in the UK. Um, the Entertainer is getting all the like wave, I think it was two, three, four in the vintage collection. Unbelievable. And you're getting figures like this. The exclusive Ray Island Journey, £3.75. I mean, Wow. I mean, how did the entertainer just all of a sudden just get a stockpile? You couldn't even get these in department stores over there. And all of a sudden the entertainer's like, here's a bunch of vintage collections, £3.75. So I've seen on Boss Bounty's channel and on Only One Kenobi's channel, they're stocked up on these. I don't blame them. You starve for good new figures in stores for such a long time. Bam. There you go. £3.75. All you UK fellas, if you grab something, let me know in the comments. How how deep does it go? Does it go past wave four yet? Can you get all the exclusive? Can you get the Mimban Trooper, the exclusive? Awesome. Guess it's now time to do some unboxing. Of course, if you would like to send some fan mail, I usually say this at the end of the video, but I'll say it now. 
you can post it off to usual mic television po box 957 lismore new south wales 2480 australia it's always in shot I, people point that out to me hey hi mike i bought a couple of these from kapow toys martin well thank you martin little note in there dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, there's a couple of vintage figures in here. The Power Toys, another UK online store. Who have we got in here? <laughs> Lost in the, the bubble wrap. Gentle, easy. Inbox collectors are always like this, careful. <gasps> I don't have that guy. <laughs> oh, awesome. Scarif Stormtrooper. My hands are very bright, aren't they? <laughs> oh, getting close. Oh, this is awesome. This is the one where they said that the image looks badass. I know it's got like a little bit of Photoshop in it, but yeah, it's brilliant. Brilliant. I really enjoyed Rogue One. I really enjoyed this figure. Oh, awesome. Uh, Wave 4, is it not? Yeah, have a look on the back. On the back, there's Yak Face. There's a Stormtrooper. There's a Skiff Guard. Leia Bush. And Fizz Nest. And Luke Skywalker. Man, that's cool. That's very, very cool. Beautiful figure. Beautiful figure. There's more. <laughs> oh, lots of padding and bubble wrap. You know it's a true collector when you're getting... Lots and lots of bubble wrap. You ever hear those horror stories that people buy stuff from Amazon and they put it in like a post-it pack when you're buying a figure? Like, why? <gasps> <laughs> look! It's Yak Face! We just looked at him on the back of the card. Brilliant. I may, I don't like to, but I may open one. Now that I've got two Yak Faces, because I got one previously. <gasps> so good. So good. I right, 3D print a little tiny mug like the Power of the Force version. Oh, that's cool. Salt Marie. Salt Marie. I believe that's how you say his name. Very, very cool. VC-132. I better check the, the number of this. I've probably told you this before. VC-133. Thank you so much, Martin. This is awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Get them in shot there. Looking good. Awesome. Thank you for watching today. Thank you, Martin Geary. You are the best. Time to talk about my affiliates. My affiliate is Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. Now, some new information about Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. He has the Skiff and the Skiff Guards 3-pack on their way to his store, which he wanted to let, me, let you guys know. He's getting the Hyper Real Luke in October. He's getting tons of Marvel stuff in for you guys who also like Marvel. And he has the exclusive rights to Ironside Toys. And they do Star Wars, they do Marvel, and they do Jurassic Park as well. So check his site out. Link's description down below. And I want to show you an awesome pick from his site that has all of the companies he deals with. Look at that. Bandai, Hasbro, DC, Marvel, Diamond Select, Gentle Giant, Funko, Disney, DC Collectibles. There's Iron Studios, Mattel, NECA, Hot Wheels, Kotobayaki, McFarlane Toys, Horror Toys, Playmates, Art Asylum, Hot Toys, PlayStation, Kenner, Sideshow Collectibles, and Mezco. Wow. This ain't no little startup now. This is a major toy company here in Australia. I hope you go and check him out and pick yourself up something nice today. So thank you very much for that. Also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. If you want to buy a shirt over in my red bubble store i have designs available on shirts mugs bags and other accessories buying from my red bubble store helps out the channel so thank you very much if you haven't done so already hit subscribe tap that little bell for notifications slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time all the best